everyone in YouTube land, welcome to my channel and this is the third installment of low cost drones that I recommend for beginners. If you are a beginner looking for your very first drone, this is the video to watch because I'm going to show you drones that are not super expensive. Now you might watch videos on YouTube where people are going to show you buy this drone. This is a Mavic 2 Pro and it costs $1,500 US. Are you going to buy that if you're a beginner? Is this going to be your first drone? Probably not. Or how about this one? This drone here is about $2,500 US. It's for the enthusiast. Are you going to buy this as your first drone as a beginner? Probably not. Now the drones I'm going to show you in this video range anywhere from $70 all the way up to $450 US. And you're probably thinking, how is $450 considered low cost? Well, honestly, in the world of drones, the average price of a drone that's pretty good is about $1,000 US. So 450, you know, that's low cost. Now there's a lot of drones I'm gonna show you in this video. And obviously I can't tell you everything about each drone, but below this video is gonna be a link to an entire full review of each drone. So if you have any questions on the drones, check the links below this video for all the details. In addition, I'm gonna put the price of each drone right here at the bottom of the video as I show it to you. And to make your life easier, I'm gonna put links below this video that you can click on it takes you right to the store that is selling the drone I'm showing you at the price I'm showing you. Now I have to say the price I'm showing you is the price today as I'm making this video. So um, yeah, if you're watching this in the future, price might be higher, price might be lower. Also to note, when you check the links below, you might see some of the links have a discount or a coupon code. That is what you enter when you buy the drone and you're at the checkout point. At checkout, it's gonna ask for your promo code, discount code, coupon code, enter it in and you'll get the good price. One very important thing to note before we get into the drones is that you need a cell phone to use all of these drones. Yes, if you don't have a cell phone that looks kind of like this, you know, like a smartphone, then you're not gonna be able to fly the drones. I get a lot of questions on that. Second thing is, your cell phone must not have come out of a cereal box. You know, like that means your cell phone is really, really cheap and crappy. These drones all require that your cell phone have the ability to connect to Wi-Fi. You know your home Wi-Fi, you sit at home or you're in a coffee shop, you sit and you connect to the Wi-Fi. These drones are exactly the same, except they need a good Wi-Fi. So your phone must have Wi-Fi that can communicate at 802.11 AC. If you don't know if your phone has that, Google your phone and check the specs. First drone to show you is the Rise Tello. Yes, this is a $70 drone and it's not too bad. It has a 13 minute flight time. It has no controller. You fly this with your cell phone. It's a pretty good drone and it's got a lot of good reviews. Here we have the Tello up close and you will notice I put a skin on mine. The camera's right up front, it's non-movable, but look on the bottom, you do have some sensors for indoor flying so it keeps itself perfectly in position. This is the battery, you get one, it's 13 minutes, you might wanna buy some extra ones. It does have brush motors. If you fly outdoors, you might wanna consider getting yourself a controller. If you have an Android phone, this is the controller for an Android phone. If you have an Apple iOS phone, you need a different controller. Battery just slides in the back. Now, one thing to note, the Tello does not work with every cell phone. So the smart thing to do if you're thinking of buying this is just go on your Google Play Store or your iOS App Store, download the app for the Tello, just search for Tello. If you can download it onto your phone, that means your phone works with this here drone. You'll be all set. The camera takes excellent photos, five megapixel, but the video quality is about 720. And since there's no micro SD card stuck in here anywhere to capture the video, you know, it's based on the quality of your phone signal from your phone to the drone. The next drone I'm gonna show you is the SG906, more commonly referred to as the Beast. It's a really good drone, really good camera, all around for about $135 from Geekbind. Oh, and look, it comes in white too. Well, actually this one here is the CSJ X7. It's identical to the Beast. They are identical. So if you go looking for drones, they're both about $135. This one's from Geekbind and this one is from TomTop. Check the links below, you'll find them. Here we have the SG906 and here we have the CSJ X7. Both of them are identical and they do come with the same type of controller. So I have one controller down there. You will notice they're foldable. They are very high quality, which you get because you do have brushless motors. You do have a little camera on the bottom for optical flow and also to film with if you want. And you have a 2K camera in the front and you get 25 minutes of flight time. And if I unfold it, it looks pretty darn sweet. 
there you go there's one unfolded batteries in the back it shows you how much battery power is remaining so for the price you know these drones are quite decent and one last thing to point out with these drones is there's no place in the bottom or the sides to put a micro sd card to record the video you record it on your phone so you need a good phone to record the video and your phone must be 802.11 ac compatible to connect with these here type of drones the next drone to show you is the JJRC X11. This is available from Geekbine and it's about $140. So it's a really good price if you're a beginner. Beautiful drone, foldable. Nice, nice, nice. I like this one. The X11 has a super nice controller. Check out the display on that controller. Very nice. The drone has massive props, brushless motors, foldable arms, and check out the sensors on the bottom. You have ultrasonic for height. You have optical flow for keeping it in position and flying indoors. You also have landing lights so that uh, you can turn them on at night or in the evening and you, the drone will light up the ground nicely yes it's talking to me right now the camera has some dampening it is a 2k camera this entire drone will fly with the included battery for about 20 minutes now just like 90 percent of the drones i'm showing you you will need a cell phone to connect to this that connects at wi-fi 802.11 ac check your phone Next, we have the Bugs 5W 4K. Yes, this drone shoots in 4K. You can shoot 4K video with this. It's pretty decent. And it's from TomTop. And guess how much it costs? Well, I know you don't. It's $144 US. So that's pretty decent. Now, one thing you'll notice about the Bugs 5W 4K is that you do get the really snazzy controller right here with a nice display. But look at the Bugs. It does not fold. This is why it's different from the other drones. The arms permanently stick out. But it is a really nice drone. Look at the size of the camera on the bottom. And it is 4K camera, so you can record video at 4K. It's not too bad. It doesn't have any sensors on the bottom, but all in all for the price, you get a pretty decent drone. Flight time is a total of 20 minutes of flight time. Next, we have the SJRC F11 Pro. This is a pretty decent drone. Remember the old F11? Well, you probably don't if you're a beginner, but the F11 was super popular, so they upgraded it to the F11 Pro. This is about $149, I believe, and it is from Geekbine down here. And just like a lot of the drones I've shown you, it is foldable, brushless motors. You can put a micro SD card in here. 2K video flies for about 25 minutes. This drone has no sensors on the bottom. It is void of sensors, but overall, it's a pretty good drone. You will see that the controller is pretty basic you flip this up you get some blinky lights to tell you what's going on but other than that it's a basic controller nothing fancy there that's why it's at the price it is it's all about the camera and you will need a cell phone to connect to this at 802.11 ac because that's what the wi-fi shoots out of here at and you need a phone to connect to that Next, we have the very new Bugs 4W 4K massive size drone, similar to the X11, except this drone here is more modern, more updated, and it actually shoots video at 4K. And it only costs $169 US. Now the Bugs 4W 4K does have that fancy snazzy controller with a nice display, which is really good. And it is a big foldable drone. You know, you can fold it out, brushless motors, normal thing, put a micro SD card in to record. Video in the front is really decent it's 4k it shoots really good 2k video the 4k video is okay but you know it's not anything to write home about it does have the sensors for height it does have the optical flow sensor it does have the ability to put landing lights so overall it's a really good drone 20 minute flight time for this baby and it is pretty large i will say that i bang into everything with this thing another cool thing about this drone it comes with a nice little battery charger if you have two batteries so one in the drone one here if you put both in here you can literally charge up two batteries at once and it gives you a really cool display down here i'm not going to show you now unless you watch the full review you'll see it anyways you do need a cell phone that connects at 802.11 ac to connect to this drone our next drone is the jjrc x9 and x9p i'm holding in my hands right now the x9p what's the difference well the strange thing is they're almost priced the same at 169 dollars us but the x9 you have to buy that from gearbest and the X9P, you have to buy that from Geekbine. This is the lowest cost drone you're gonna find with a two axis gimbal. So as I move the drone, the picture stays perfectly straight. It's very rare to see $169 US for a drone with a gimbal, so it's pretty darn decent. And the main difference between the X9 and the X9P is basically the camera. So on the X9P, you get a better camera to shoot at a higher resolution. If you wanna see the difference, just 
click on the links below this video to take you to the actual review of the X9 and the X9P. You'll see the difference. Now the X9 and the X9P are not foldable as you can see, but they do have really high quality brushless motors. Nice little battery display back here. If I touch it, shows you how much power is in the battery. It is on right now. It does have a two axis gimbal, which is the first drone at this price to have a two axis gimbal. So you're gonna have really good video quality, very stabilized with this drone. It comes with this type of remote control and you will need a cell phone to connect to this at 802.11 AC. Battery flight time is 15 minutes on the X9 and the X9P. They're identical in every way except for the camera. One has a little bit better camera. Some people like the X9 and some people like the X9P. So check them both out and see which one is best for you. Now, speaking of drones with gimbals, this is the most popular drone on the market today. Three axis gimbal, shoots at 1080p. It can take 4K photos. But having that three axis gimbal, wow, pretty darn cool. And at the time of this video, it's gonna run you $229 US for this model. All right, our next model is actually the same as our last model. This is the Eachine version of the JJRC X12. This is the Eachine EX4, and it's the same price as the last version. So yeah, you have a choice. If you can't find the JJRC model, you can find this one. This one is on the Banggood website, and here I'll put it below. Banggood website, and there's your price. Here we have the JJRC X12, and here we have the Eachine EX4 identical. This one I left folded. This one's unfolded, just to show you what they look like. Let me show you the bottoms. They have ultrasonic sensors, both of them on the bottom, and an optical flow camera, so you can fly them indoor. They do have a three axis gimbal, which makes these drones the most popular in the world because the video image is quite stable. Brushless motors, foldable, very, very good drones all around. And as you can see right here, you can put a micro SD card to record the video. The batteries are pretty good. You get 25 minutes of flight time with these drones. And like all the other drones, you will need a cell phone that connects at 802.11 AC Wi-Fi to use this drone. Now we're gonna jump up quite a few levels in drone video quality, and let's start with the Xeno. This here is about $290. It is available from Geekbind down here. 290 bucks US will get you this model. Very awesome drone, they sell tons of these. Now if you have 20 more dollars in your pocket, you can get yourself the Xeno Pro, a lot more features in this one, and it is available from Geekbind right here. It's about $309 US. Different technology, a little bit more modern, and listen to this, the fan, I turned it on, the processor in here gets hot, so the fan just starts blowing right away, you can hear it. The Hubson Xeno, so here's the Xeno, and here's the Xeno Pro, you know, this one's white, this one's black, I think you can get this one in black as well, but uh, this one's a little bit better than this one. Longer range, same cameras, you know, pretty much the same. If you can find this one at a good price, then get this one over this one, because you probably won't notice a difference. The controller is the same controller for each drone, white or black, it's very basic, nothing exciting. They both have a 23 minute flight time, but what is really good about these drones is you do not require a cell phone with 802.11 AC. You can still fly them without because what you're going to do is take your controller, attach a cable to the side, to your phone and this will act and do all the magic for you. And if you watch my reviews on the Xeno, the only negative that anybody ever has is, look at the bottom, there are no sensors. You know, for the price you pay, you would think you get sensors, but they didn't do that because they put all the money into the camera and the flight dynamics. Next, we have the strangest drone. This is the Power Egg. This thing right here. This thing used to cost like $1,500 US. Now you can get it for like $329, $349, $369. It's on sale everywhere. I'm gonna put links below to where you can get it. And when you pull out the arms, your little egg turns into a drone. And then if you want feet to land, you just press this button here and my little egg should pop out. Little. <laughs> pretty cool sci-fi thing. E.T. phone home. So uh, yeah, pretty good drone. Now it's really hard to get the power egg to fit right here in the image, but I'm going to place it upside down so that you can see the 4K camera at the bottom on a three axis gimbal. So you get really good high quality video. You got two ultrasonic sensors so it knows when it's coming to the ground. You do have an optical flow sensor so it can try to keep itself still in place. You know, it's a normal GPS drone. Has a wildly strange controller right here. And this is another one of those drones where you do not need a cell phone with 802.11 AC. It's got a 25 minute flight time to get you going. It is really bulky. It does come with a hard case. So this drone here, like many of the other drones do come with a case. This one is a 
hard case so you can carry it around. All in all, really good drone, always on sale. If you break it, you will never get it fixed because this thing is pretty much, you know, it's discounted. It was a $1,500 drone, so now everybody's selling them on all the stores, just clearing stock, so you can get them at a really low price. So if you get one of these, they are pretty sweet. If you watch the full review, I know you're going to want one because it comes with so many cool things that uh, makes this drone amazing. Check it out. The next drone is undoubtedly going to be the most popular drone of the year 2020. By popular, I mean the most units sold, and that is the DJI Mavic Mini. If you live in Canada, this drone will cost you $349 US. If you live in the United States or elsewhere, it's probably going to cost you $399 US. And you can buy it from the DJI website, and the price you see on the website, shipping, uh, taxes, customs, duty, is all included in that price to your door. So click on that link, get this at your door pretty cool drone. Now the Mavic Mini is really popular because it only weighs 249 grams and in some countries 249 grams means you can fly this without restrictions. Brushless motors, foldable props, foldable arms, you can fold it all up nice and small, 3 axis gimbal on the front, 2.7k video, 30 minute flight time, you have some sensors here to keep it in position, you can fly this indoors really nice as well as outdoors. Really good drone overall, comes with your typical basic DJI controllers and uh, uh, that's it. You go out and fly. All right, the next drone we're going to check out is the Unique Mantis Q, and it currently sells for $399 US. Pretty cool drone, full featured. The only thing it's lacking, oh, there goes the fan on this one. Hear the fan? <laughs> All those really high quality processors. The only thing it's lacking is a three axis gimbal. It doesn't have one, but it does shoot in 4K. So, you get a lot of really, really good features with this and voice control. It's one of the few drones that has a full functioning voice control complement to it. So check it out and see if this is a drone for you. Mantis Q is a super well-made drone. It feels really good in the hands, foldable. It feels like a big piece of metal. It's really nice. You can see on the bottom you have ultrasonic sensors and you have an optical flow sensor right here at the back. There's a fan in here because the processor gets really hot. Arms fold out so you can get a nice view of the drone. On the front you have your camera. It can move straight up, straight down. It's got some dampening on it, but not a three axis gimbal. It can shoot in 4K and lower. Micro SD card slot on the side, and you have your controller. Pretty basic, nothing uh, fancy. What makes this so popular is its voice control, if you wish, and it's also over 30 minutes of flight time. All right, we finally made it to our last drone. This drone costs $450 US. And it is the Fimi X8 SC. You can get it right now from Banggood for $450 US. It's a pretty sweet drone. Watch my full review of this. You will think it's pretty amazing what it can do. The Fimi is very white and there's a lot of tech in here. So that's why it's so expensive compared to the other drones for low cost. Brushless motors, foldable arms, just like the other one. On the bottom, you have one optical flow sensor and one ultrasonic sensor. Three axis gimbal in the front, 4K. This 4K is a little different than all the other 4Ks on the other drones. This one here can record at 100 megabits per second, so you get high quality 4K if you want to do video editing, post-processing, all sorts of stuff. It's really good. Lots of flight features in here. And uh, that's pretty much it, other than the controller, which is pretty sweet. Nice controller here. Big in the hands. You have the little joysticks are down here. You put them in here. Yank this out to fit in something huge. You could fit a really big phone in there. And uh, the range on this is really decent. And the good thing is you do not need a cell phone with 802.11 AC to use this one. And this brings us to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, first check the full review of the drone below. But if you have any other questions that aren't mentioned there, then by all means, post them below and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next video.